This is the Zappa. It should be part of any Nintendo collector's collection. And most people associate this with Duck Hunt. I'm sure that every person who's had a Nintendo Entertainment System has had Duck Hunt. Or has at least played it at somebody's house with a friend or something. But there are also many other Zappa games, including one lesser-known one called To the Earth. This is To the Earth. This game, I didn't even hear of until, like, two months ago, and this is probably one of the hottest Zappa games you could ever play. It's extremely fast-paced, and it's not a bad game, but it's really hard. Now, I know this is kind of blurry, but I just want to give you an idea of how hard this game is, just to show you how fast stuff comes at you. Now, I'm already dead. I, I could hardly even hit anything. I'm going to try one more time. Now, as you can see right here, the ships are coming at me very fast. It's almost impossible to hit now, plus I'm doing a little worse because I'm trying to look at it through a camera, but you get the idea. And then they stop firing missiles at you. Every time your shot doesn't hit, you lose energy. Every time a missile hits you, you lose energy. So basically, the more inaccurate you are, the faster you're di going to die. Regardless of how many enemies hit you. Now, what you saw out of the corner just before was a comet. I missed it. So, now I'm dead. If you hit the comet, you get a barrier, but even that doesn't last very long. This is definitely one of the hardest games. Now, this is by no means a bad game. It's just very hard, and it takes a lot of patience and a lot of practice to get good at it. And, as you can see, I'm not the greatest either. So, if you really like light gun games, then To the Earth is definitely worth picking up.